So you mean that... that all the people here are hacked PCs? <laughs> What's so funny? Well, hasn't your PC been tampered with quite a bit? My... <sighs> hey, have you seen Zelkova from Moon Tree? Zelkova? I think he was on the bridge. You can get to the bridge by heading that way. See ya! Let's find Zelkova. He should be on the bridge. We got some pretty swanky stuff here. Double trigger. Yeah, we will need to get the better guns. Because those ones only have 8 shots, and I believe the best ones have 20? Is anybody here? Oh, and the last episode or part is an hour long. I want to try not to do that from here on out. I lost track of time, even though I have a thing beside me for that, but yeah. So I want to, you know, again, try not to do that because it takes a long time for videos to upload. So, yeah. Enjoy that because it hopefully will not happen again, but we'll see. A job extension. The X form. You! It looks like you were able to recover the connection between the epitaph and your consciousness. What's the X form? <coughs> Zelkova, are you the one who hacked my PC? Yep. But the power source driving it comes directly from your epitaph's power, your force of will. All I did was mess around with its connection a little bit. Um, you're Zelkova, right? For real? Yep. What's Moon Tree's Guildmaster doing in a den of hackers? Well, you see, this is sort of my home. Haseo, can you remember how it is you ended up here in the net slum? Uh, Ovan started the rebirth. Yes, and the aftershock of that program blew you into this parallel version of the world, also known as the net slum. And a force strong enough to damage your consciousness and PC body, has enveloped the entire network. Yeah, I almost lost my soul back there too. Zelkova, just who exactly are you? How do you know all this? Zelkova is a resident of the Net Slum. Yara! Haseo! Haseo! 
Kuhn, Pi, Adelie, you're all okay. We were gonna say the same thing to you. You know, you really had us worried, you punk. Endrance and Sakubo are in net slum as well. The aftershocks from the rebirth blew us all apart, but somehow Zelkova gathered us back together again. Yada, you knew all about this net slum place? Oh yeah, Yata's quite the celebrity to pretty much everyone here. That was a long time ago. Ovan. He was looking for some way to save his comatose sister. In the end, Ovan destroyed himself. For her. Well, about Ovan. Wait. All of us made it out of this in one piece. That should be enough for now. By the way, Haseo, you look... different. Zelkova. Did you experiment on an Epitaph user's PC? The x form is an illegal power created from the fusion of the Epitaph and the user's PC. Power? Who needs power now? Your battle with Ovan is over, but the seeds of danger haven't vanished from the world. Far from it. What? What do you mean? <laughs> Don't worry. Just put your mind at ease, Haseo. After all, you really could use some rest. <sighs> Haseo? What's going on? What's going on with the world? With the net? With everything? I don't know, but... Haseo? You and I are here, aren't we? Haseo! Huh? Haseo! You too, Adley! What could it be? Come on, Haseo, let's go! What the? Uh. <gasps> wow, the town! Will right around here be okay? Yes, thank you. Yata, who are you talking to? I've been here the whole time. He's Tartarga, the ship itself. That's crazy. He's an old friend. Haseo. Oh. Haseo, you now possess the power to resist the seeds of danger in this world. However, at present, you cannot activate your power completely. What do you mean? Well, I totally trust in what you can do now. So think things over with your friends, and let's just keep on going! I'll help you out if I can, so don't hesitate to call me if you need me! I'm not quite sure how much help he'll be, but... I believe I can be of help, if you need to raise your level. Mm -hmm. And in accordance with Lord Zelkova's wishes, I will fight alongside you. Please, take this. It looks like we'll be arriving soon. The activation of the rebirth caused network problems in the real world on a global scale. Finance, communication, transportation, the media. All aspects of life were affected. The third network crisis. Yeah, that's what society called it. But in the midst of all that, the world became peaceful again. Since the rebirth activation, there hasn't been a single report of any Ida phenomena anywhere. Ovana. 
Did you... get everything you wanted? The Lost Ones are gradually returning to normal in the real world, but... But Shino... Send that to her. I relayed Bo's feelings. Now, Saku, you need to try and understand. Really think about it, Saku. I'm so you made it back, and it's thanks to you. Have you heard from Malkay? Serious. It looks like you made it back to the real world. But Alcade and Shino. Zelkova told us that the seeds of danger were still here. What did he mean, Adelie? If you hadn't been there, there's no way I would have ever been able to fight Ovan. Thank you. What is this one? Fire cleaning up after Reaper. Looks like they've been pulling all nighters. Remember that the world is the cause. Well, yeah, that's true. Their scapegoat is Ovan. No one knows where Ovan is in the real world or even if he's alive. It looks like the rebirth has gotten the CC Corp people fighting amongst themselves. I don't think Yada and Pai are going to be able to rest for quite a while. But I wonder, what happened to Ovan in the real world? The Ida phenomenon has gone silent. The last ones have recovered, but a portion of them have not made it back. I thought we'd beaten Ida, but Shino and Alcade are still unconscious. Could it be there's some cause besides Ida? Who gave us the prophecy? Who? Or perhaps... It looks like the world's been damaged in a lot of places. Maybe the rebirth also had something to do with that. We haven't had any reports of Ida being detected anywhere in the world since the rebirth. I guess that means it's finally over. But, Ovan, is this really what you wanted? Urgent. Shino is still in a coma. The doctors did not notice a change, however. It seems that Lost ones recover different rates. Come to all other PCs have been denied. In something he has to tell me. Anyway, let's go see Yada. Let's check the news. not in the news yet. Interesting. Wonder why it's not in the news yet. Huh. Whatever. All right, let's go meet Yada by ourselves. Cause yes, Yada's calling me. Hey, 
Hidden Forbidden Bulwark. Yara. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yara, what did you mean by what you said in that email? Hmm. Look below you. Huh? Yara, what is that? I've found several areas in the world exhibiting the same phenomenon. Furthermore, this is something completely different from the Ida phenomenon. It's not Ida? Then what is it? I believe it is an anti-existence. Anti-existence? Do you remember Fidel's prophecy, Aseo? Prophecy? If this is the giant shadow, then this is the anti-existence of rebirth. Anti-existence? It is the shadow of the Morgana Factor. In other words, of we Epitaph users. Use of a power that was not meant to exist created anomalies in the data. And the light of the rebirth created this as its shadow. Yes. Its name is... Kubia. Kubia? The bitter legacy left to us by Ovon. If the effects resulting from the rebirth were spread throughout the entire network, then Kubia will also spread, not just throughout the world, but the entire network as well. The true destruction is now beginning. The true apocalypse. Wait a minute, what about al -Qaid? And Shino! Their consciousnesses are probably still in the world. I will take responsibility for what I've done in the past. Once, seven years ago, when the world and the real world were in danger, I was indeed on the battlefield. Seven years ago? You mean the Second Network Crisis? The anti-existence Kubia was present then as well. You mean this monster's shown up before? Ovan eliminated Ida at the cost of his life. He cured the Lost Ones and protected the world. Now, let me protect it with my life as well. Surely that would fulfill his dying wish. 
looks like you're finally saying what you mean. I will not allow the world to be destroyed. Alcade and Shino's consciousnesses are still wandering in the world. They won't be destroyed. I'll protect them with my life. Let's hit the news first, cause it's about time for that stuff to show up, isn't it? Yep. Warrant issued for creator of Ida Virus. NAB announced that Ida is to blame for the recent network problems and that the creator of the virus was Masoto Indo, 26 years old. Police force, upon receiving this info, and assuming that he may have fled the country, issued an international warrant through the ICPO. Endo, an avid player known as Ovon, So they're after him now, even though he's not the one who made it. Someone else did. They got arrested. Weird. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, and that's why you should never have nuclear plants on the internet. And I'm betting we do in real life. Protests over new rules. Well, it's already over, so, you know. Nothing new here. Check the mail. What a flower means. It looks like he got through to her. Saku. Bo. I'm happy for you both. Have okay, so they sensed it and have fallen into turmoil. Seven years ago, the Pluto again incident, when the second network crisis began. I believe the true finale, the true network crisis, will begin when Kubio becomes active. Shino and Alcade's consciousnesses are still We've got to put a stop to this network crisis right away. Ovan's little sister? So she's woken up. That's good. She's at Sigma Incensed World's Build-Up. Alrighty then. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put a cut here. Make sure it saves again. There we go. And I will catch you guys next time. Have a good day.